Hello there, this is the Fabled Harpooner once again with another hunt. Again with a gobble and a different hammer this time. The last episode you saw me using the plume flint. A 572 attack power with a nice sharp sharpness level, green sharpness at this stage of the game, and some fire element. The other hammer I'm going to be using is the bone bludgeon. It's not the best choice basically, but it's the new hammer that I acquired after defeating the Baroth. Yeah. I guess uh, I was needing the large bone, bone, what's the bone, L, the large one. Compared to the other hammers, it's not really your best option well, of these three, basically. Bloom Fling versus the Bull has the extra of having the fire elemental, which I've used before, and a nice sharpness, as I said. Even the splash ma hammer, which is the water one, would do better with, than the bone bludgeon. Because it's a uh, higher raw attack and extra de uh, sharpness. But still, let's see how this hammer fares. Now, in order to boost it a bit, went with the roggy armor again, thanks to the sharpness level and the sharp gem gemming the sharpness skill. This, these two should help with the low green sharpness that this hammer has, even though that. It shouldn't bounce too much. Maybe from the back. I'm not sure of any other body part. But the other. Okay, so we're going to do these two meals. No fence, you know, I don't need fissure. Room a deflector. Well, this can help as well. Retain sharpness when attacks are deflected. Okay, if there's nothing better, I might go for this. Slide down booster, what's the boost data? Because you're taking the fence for the start of the quest. Yeah. This probably is better for high rank quests where you have randomly randomly spawn in different areas. You might have be lucky, get lucky and spawn where the monster is. So you can actually get extra damage in. But here, since you have to move to where the monster is, I have to fish it out. I'm not sure I'm gonna be no, I think I won't. Should I? Yeah, I think I would fish it out. Need to get the item. Anyway, this seems to be the best option, so let's go for it. Yeah, the groomer should also help with a bit with the water ply if I get hit by it. What's down here? Yeah, well, I think just will be cooking much, but just. Just in case you managed to get one or two out. Uh, did, what did I say? Yeah, frog. I need a frog, frog, frog. Not two, no, two, no, two, no, two. Frog. Okay, so let's go. Charger's wearing the grill mask, so he's going to be cooking a couple of steaks. Rare or otherwise. Even burnt ones will do nicely. And let's go. Given the call of them. Looking away. There. Well done, I suppose. Let's go back to seven. can I say, that haven't said before, using a hammer. Gonna be fishing it out rather than gathering whiskers this time. Okay, I used the A button rather than the Thing is, this is confusing. You need to use Y when fishing with a frog, otherwise, 
or you default to the basic bait. And he's angry. Let's fall back. Okay, so this quest is going to take extra five minutes because of this blunder, basically. Why is he backing up so much? <laughs> no, he's not going to. Yeah, keep backing up. Something wrong with the AI when you're on ground. It's just backs up all the time. Okay, let's go in. Got the golf swing at it. The way I wanted to dodge. I'm not really doing good, very well here. And it's not the hammer's fault, mostly mine. Not all of it. Okay, that was a nice hit. Ah, uh, well. Oh, should I get? Yeah. Not sure, because of the camera angle. already exhausted it. Close to being exhausted. Oh, that was a great start. Other things of being underwater is the difficult camera angles you have to deal with. Since you also have to consider up and down underwater, basically, like on land where you pretty much are on the same level as the monster, except for some monsters that might fly up, but still, it's not as bad when they're flying. Match having to super band all the time. Got hit by the current there. No, that's going to be partial miss. at the right distance to them, so not too close. Now nah, that's going to be a big miss. Very now I've got him.
Ah, oh, come on. Did I have to miss with the golf swing there? No. I think I hit the tail there. The loot rather saved me from being jumped. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hate them when they do this. Ah, come on, the tree wasn't the bloody way. Then I'm gonna get hit by the tail. Nearly. Ah. Okay, to recover some stamina. Oh, come on. I'm risking it because I want to get the KO already. It's taking too long. Hits there. Oh, I don't think I've got, managed to get that hit in. But oh, come on! Oh, cha cha. Uh, not really convinced I'm going to manage to get the lamp off. I think I hit a lot of fish there. <laughs> One go. No! Oh, well, I was wrong. I'm happy about that. You wait a bit longer so I got that pound in. Okay, yeah, death. Oh, nice. Finished him out. Still didn't manage to kill him in time. Ah, well. Well, let's finish this quest. I 
I'm basically not really happy of how it started off. So basically, yeah, when you go fishing, press Y with the frog. Okay, guys, just a moment, please. I need to check on something. Be right back. Sorry about that. I need to check on something. Not a good idea to be recording when you're expecting things to happen. Anyway, let's finish this. I'll probably cut out a bit of that I've paused, so it wouldn't might take as long. I'm not sure we would, if you noticed, or will notice it. Did it hit me there? Did the bloody blood drop hit me there? Charging. <sighs> oh, I really hate these guys. Well, I basically hate all your monsters. Especially when they knock you out of a charge that you're just about to release. Oh, they've been bloody annoying. Okay, you're dead. And the last hit that bounced. Well, it's still not bad. Bad time. Under 15 minutes, considering its lower attack power and short sharpness. So it's still not a bad weapon. It's just it's outclassed by others that you have available. Still, I think it does upgrade to a nicer weapons when you get the materials for it. What can I get around here? Anything to gather here? Yeah. Herbs. So yes, this has been the fabled Arpuna. Doing a double hunt. The bone bludgeon. No, not pause. The Bone Pleasure. I think there's a Bone Pleasure Plus after this one. Anyway, let's see what we've got for rewards. Hides, Master Bone Pluses, well, just one plus. Anything. Another, another lantern for the collection. Okay. Shortest. Well, yeah, not by much. Okay, guys. Guys. This has been the favourite Arpuna. See you next time and good hunting. Bye.